Surgery of the sinuses and nasal passages can now be done with less risk of injury to delicate tissues. According to Dr. Robert Del Hunco of St. Joseph Hospital in Orange, image guided technology is a great help to the surgeon. Back in the late 1990s, um, St. Joseph's Hospital um, was the first hospital west of the Mississippi to buy an image guided stereotactic um, piece of equipment to do sinus surgery, nasal sinus surgery. We currently do more image guided sur surgery than any uh, other institution in Southern California and have the largest uh, nasal sinus center um, um, in Southern California. In fact, we were the, the first sinus center in Southern California. Um, we have a, a, a team approach of allergists, uh, radiologists, and, and ear, nose, and throat doctors. Um, uh, and have tremendous support from the manufacturers of all this new technology. Most people who need image-guided uh, nasal surgery are pa patients that have chronic sinusitis and nasal polyps, and on a rare occasion, intranasal tumors. Well, pretend this is Joe the patient, and he is going to be scheduled for a CAT scan. With image-guided technology, what we do is we put this headpiece on the patient at the time of the CAT scan. This is on the bridge of the nose, and there are six small little uh, metal sensors. And when the CAT scan is being done, these are slices that are through the head, these six points are used as reference points. What that allows us to do is, in a very comfortable way, is allow a patient to have a very special CAT scan. When he's done, he takes the headpiece off. At the time of surgery, we're able to introduce this probe, and we're, the probe is able to allow to allow us to visualize on the CAT scan our exact point in the nasal cavity. What's very special about this is that the tool is not used to tell us how to do the surgery. It's a verification device. So if I'm going to enter into a sinus, then I'll go to the opening and say, there's the opening, and I'll use this tool to verify what I, where I think I am. If it doesn't, then we have a problem. And that adds a, a huge higher level of safety for the patient. So the future today is image-guided surgery, whether it's in the nose, whether it's in the spine, whether it's in, going to be in the brain, um, but it's all technologically driven. What's very nice about this technology is where before someone like myself would get referred many difficult revision cases, because the technology is a tool to allow everyone to get better, even my normal referring physicians um, use the technology and allows them to be better and safer surgeons. Living in Southern California, uh, in, in the environment with all the contaminants that we have, um, um, people eventually develop sinus problems. And the problem with that term, as it's coined, sinus problems, it can be anything from something mild, moderate, or severe. Those individuals who have x-ray radiological evidence of sinus disease, who have failed medical treatment, um, they become candidates for surgical intervention. And what we want to offer them is the newest and latest in technologies that allows them to have surgery in a safe way, minimal packing, minimal bleeding, minimal pain, and back to their normal day-to-day -day activities. Um, and that's what this technology offers for that group of people who fall into that category.